Hello Galaxy Heroes. So, uh, first one speeded up because it wasn't until I went into the battle that I realised that I had royally screwed up here and it wasn't the Yukum squad I was looking for. However, had to persevere, see whether they stood any chance. Um, it speeded up, so maybe that alludes to the end result here. Um, <clears throat> But what I do have, excuse me, what I do have is two proper battles where I actually take the correct squads in. So what's going to happen here is this is going to go through and eventually I'm just going to give up um, after she wipes out half the squad. And then um, I'm going to go back in with the correct squad and see how that turns out. And then after that, I've got um, another battle, but this time against an ultimate Kylo. So this is an ultimate Ray, And yeah, it went a little bit Pete Tong because I used the wrong squad. And um, it really, really did not work. Not enough heat, not enough heat, heat, not enough firepower in that squad that's on here at the moment but just to uh, alleviate any fears this is the only speeded up there you go so you ain't got many left um, and so now we're back but this time we're with the Newcomb squad and spoiler alert this goes much better so um, we do have a taunt, they're not taunting. So we've just got to now bust through and wait for Ray to take a turn again before we can damage her, I believe. Because this is just, yeah, it's just bags of fun. But yeah, I get it, it's part of her mechanics. So now she's moved, I believe we can touch her now. Can we touch her? Can we? Yes, we can. There you go. We touched her 102,000 times. And that apparently was enough. So now we've just got the uh, the frustration of having to work our way around and actually find a target that we can actually hit. Uh, I believe in eventually I'm going to realize that what's one of the few targets that we can hit and they stay hit, none of this Oleg malarkey. There we go. Bit too late, because he's thrown all his goodies out by now, I believe, but we can stop him doing any more damage as such. There we go, so JKR down. I don't know why I decided to. Oh, I just wanted the froggy to stop putting foresight up. That was that was my <laughs> the reasoning there. Normally, don't worry about the froggy too much because he just opts off as soon as everyone that has got a lightsaber has gone. Bit like what? So just waiting, waiting. Still can't touch him. Oh, he was touched. And again. Boom. Done. So ultimate Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight. Ultimate Ray gone. And now um, we're going to go up against the ultimate Kylo. Um, this one is... Uh, quite a mishmash of comps so there's not much in the way that I can see going to calling in um, Kylo for any assists so I mean, he's fast enough already so I suppose probably doesn't need it too much um, but of course what you've got now is the added factor that we've got 
Gin Ocean Brood Alpha and the Brute. And then as soon as we damage uh, Grievous, B1 is just gonna bang up and we've gotta hit him. Of course, having a uh, Revan helps a bit, but we've still gotta keep hitting that B1 until we can get Mark up again. And then we can try for um, the Merc. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, SLK, R. Oh, he's gonna do horrible stuff. There you go, horrible stuff done the first time round. Grievous is down, that's quite handy. He killed himself there, so, um, I think the idea here is try and get rid of Brood Alpha before we can bring back Brute, because any taunt and tank you, uh, Kylo is kind of protected by, or well, from my experience, maybe I have got that wrong, but it is nice having Luke on the board there, because Luke will keep removing the, uh, the critical hit immunity that Kylo's popping up. I thought I had him here, really did. I thought, yes, um, and then he did that. And it's like, what? So, cleared the B1. Stun resistance, so now it's just a case of, I realize that I can't hit him. Now I can hit him, right. So now it's just a matter of who wields the force the better. Answer is Luke. So one-on-one, -on -one, happy days. That uh, concludes my climb. Thank you for watching.